This is Jessie from the Helena College Library. This video will show you how to cite a book in the updated MLA style. When you include information from an outside source in your paper, you must first add an in-text citation to note the source in the body of your paper. The in-text citation includes two pieces of information, the author's last name and the page on which the quote or information is located. Let's look at an example of this book. Here is a direct quote from the book. The citation appears in parentheses at the end of the sentence, after the closing quotation mark and before the period. The first part of the in-text citation is the author's last name. You can easily find the author's name on the cover of the book. Then include the page number where the information or quote is located. Each of your sources will also be included in your list of works cited at the end of your paper. Your list of references provides the full citation for each source with enough information for a reader to find it. The book cover, title page, and verso of the title page, which is on the back of the title page, will have the information you need. Let's look at the basic citation for a book. And remember to pay careful attention to all punctuation, spacing, and formatting. The first part of a citation is the author's last name, followed by their first name and middle name or initials, and a period. Refer to the cover or title page to find the author's name. The title and subtitle of the book are written in italics separated by a colon with a period at the end. Use title style capitalization. This means that you capitalize all words except articles, prepositions, and conjunctions, such as and, the, or of. Next, write the publisher followed by a comma. This is usually found on the verso of the title page near the copyright date. It may also appear right on the title page. Finally, type the year of publication followed by a period. Find it with the rest of the publication information on the verso of the title page, usually marked with a copyright symbol. And this is our complete citation. In your paper, each citation will be double-spaced with a hanging indent. This means that each line after the first is indented a half inch. Remember, the citation in the body of your paper helps the reader find the full citation in your list of works cited, so they should be the same. Your citations may look a little different depending on the book that you're using. Refer to a pocket style manual or the Purdue OWL website for more guidelines and examples. And don't hesitate to contact your Helena College Library if you have any questions.